Today I'm going to show you how to access the secret factory settings menu on MagCubic projectors. I've tested this on both the MagCubic L018 and the HY300, and it worked on each one, so this should likely work across most MagCubic projectors. Huge thanks to a Reddit user who originally shared this information. There are two ways to access the secret factory settings. Method 1. Using the Everything Launcher app. Install the Everything Launcher app. Once you open it, scroll through the list of apps. You should find an app called Factory Menu. This is a system app, which is why it doesn't appear in the regular app drawer. Open it, and you'll get access to the full Factory Settings menu. If you don't see the Factory Menu app, it means the latest firmware has removed it. In that case, you'll need to install it manually using an APK. I also had to use this method because my projector is on the latest firmware. I'll leave the download link in the description. Disclaimer: Change these settings at your own risk. Some options may cause unexpected behavior. Now, let's explore the menu. Here's the main list of settings. Things like factory reset, picture options, sound options and more. Signal info. Shows details about the current input signal. Picture settings. You can change picture modes, brightness, contrast, etc. But most of these are already accessible from the normal settings menu. Picture curve. This shows OSD, so it's likely related to on-screen display settings. White balance. This is one of the most important sections. You can fine-tune RGB gain and offset values to improve color accuracy. Note. If you scroll past warm, the screen might turn black. Just press the left button to go back. Overscan. Possibly related to keystone or screen fit adjustments. PQ Advanced Menu. More advanced picture settings, DCI, black extension, gamma adjustments, and more. These can help brighten dark areas and improve shadow detail. The original Reddit post included some recommended tweaks. Feel free to try them out. Sound settings. There are a lot of sound options here. You can customize EQ values, adjust speaker gain, and more. Speaker delay. This can go up to 500. I tested it to see if it fixes Bluetooth audio lag. Unfortunately, it didn't help for me. Let me know in the comments if it works for you. There's also a toggle that seems to control whether the internal speaker or headphone port is enabled. Debug settings. I didn't touch anything here, not much useful for regular users. System info. Shows hardware and software information about the projector. Panel settings. I tested a few things here, but nothing major changed. General settings. Test pattern. It runs a color test. Press the back button to exit. Aging mode. Do not click this. When I clicked it, the projector got stuck in an endless color cycling test. Even after rebooting, it automatically returned to the loop. I had to quickly perform a full reset from the settings menu right after reboot. Import slash export settings. Looks like you can modify or import settings, possibly even change the startup logo. Software upgrade. Contains firmware related info and update options. That's it for this video. If you discover any useful settings or have better color calibration values, please share them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more MagCubic content. See you in the next one. Cheers.